trauma. I today I did a video uh, an, an interview about structural violence and I was asked to uh, define structural violence and I had a hard time doing that because it's way easier to describe something where there is an alternative to. Pointing out what is white is pretty easy if at the same page there is something black. But structural violence, it's difficult to point it out because it's just everywhere. It's in the unsensuality of our streets. It's in the stupidity of our cars. It's in the kind of idea of being normal at school. It's just so everywhere. It's in the shape of the building you are in right now. It's in the design and the color of your computer. Structural violence is a slap into your face coming from every direction, being based on humans being shut down due to individual slash collective trauma. And collective trauma, at the moment, we can also say transgenerational trauma. The stress of your grandparents is written in your DNA. If you want it or not, unfortunately, that's science. So we have all of our design being perfectionized for regulating this stuff and healing this stuff. However, how we are trying to do that at the moment is not enough. And I would even say it's counterproductive. At the moment, we run around like, you have to wake up. The planet is dying. We have to do something. So two things about that. First of all, imagine yourself being a little child, being shut down and terrified. You are so terrified that you shut down and associate and just stay with yourself. It's like you close your eyes and then you are, you are firmly believing it isn't happening. Imagine yourself being this little child because you are. Now somebody runs towards you, grabbing your shoulders and screaming into your face. What will happen? Will you learn to unfreeze? Will you open your arms again for this life? Certainly not. So running around with wake up calls is the most counterproductive thing that you can do. Because you are just surrounded by traumatized, shut down little children in adult bodies. It's very important that you do not run around with this kind of missionary idea that others have to believe what you are believing in by you shouting at them or becoming very clear. If you do not tolerate their freedom, you do not tolerate the metrics of the solution. You only tolerate another version of unfreedom. So first of all that, we do not have to run around with wake-up calls. What could work instead? Going into contact with the child in a way that the child's nervous system slash your nervous system feels safe. This child needs your support. It doesn't need to be alone, that's for sure. But it needs your nervous system feeling safe. And here is the other thing. If you want to, to transmit to the child's nervous system that it is safe, you can't fake. Adults, parents often try to fake. They say, oh, whoa, whoa, no, 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 it's okay. It's not that bad. It's okay. And they are very, very upset themselves because totally dysregulated in themselves due to transgenerational trauma. So in order to be in a field of disaster and catastrophe, let's imagine this situation, even imagine a situation of war and you want to support a little child to unfreeze. You have to feel safe with facing death. And that's the most essential piece of trauma healing when it comes to your culture. 
you stopping running away from death is you changing just everything. Just simply everything. Because trauma is what we will hold on to as avoidance of our closeness to death in this moment. Trauma is what we hold on to. Trauma is the definition of your distance to death because the last time you have been truly intimate with death, it made you freak out. It was too much. So you becoming intimate with death again is very important. Yay, thank you so much for being into stuff like this. I truly appreciate that. So if you want to dive deeper into this body of work, if you want to contribute something with your individual vibration to the collective transformation, you're super welcome to join my next free events. Yes, they are totally free. You will find the link in the description below and please invite all your friends.